Iggy, it's raining outside. Poppers go poop. Pops go poop. Come on, Riley, go poop. See if you need to go poop, okay? Man. I'm right here. Go on. Go poop. Pops, come on. Go poop. Good girl. Go on. Man. Do I need to walk out there with you? She sucks at pooping when it's raining. But the thing is, I might not want to come home for lunch because it's raining. It would kind of feel pointless to do so, so I would really like it if she needed to poop now, but it's raining, so she's not going. So I need to hold your hand. Maybe I need to put on my jacket and walk out there with her, although it's like raining harder now. Shoot, cats. Break. Good girl. Good. Break. Good girl. Hmm. I kind of wished... Break. Good. Come on. You know, I've kind of realized that the light in here is quite yellow. Or it normalizes depending on the angle that I have my camera. I am out of soy milk. So I need to buy more groceries. So I can't eat oatmeal today. So I need to make myself some eggs. I plan way too much. For example, when I checked the weather, I saw that today was raining. So I was thinking, maybe I don't need to go in at 10 o'clock. I'll go in at 10.30 or kind of late, like I have been doing. And the main reason for that was because I was picturing people having accidents in the rain. People here can't drive when it's wet out. So that would just make it more complicated. It would probably push back the time where the traffic would be bad. And I find it a little bit overkill that I think about stuff like this. I'll try to get her to poop again when I have my jacket on so my hair doesn't get wet. I'm heating up some hot water so I can make myself some wonderful jasmine tea before I leave for work. It's kind of late already. I know that I haven't been talking about Dota 2 at all. It's been quite a large gap since anything has happened. Although, a minor actually just happened these past few days, but it's a minor. It was also in Bu Bucharest, so it started at midnight or 1 a.m. and it wasn't the best teams. I believe a Chinese team won, but I actually didn't watch any of the games. So if they're tier 2, I'm not really as interested, especially if I have to sacrifice sleep for it. That's just not going to happen. So the Major is coming up next week. I'm so excited for that. It's held in China. Hopefully there's not going to be too much racism going on because there have been so many divides between Chinese and non-Chinese people especially because there have been stupid racism things that occurred these past few months within the Dota 2 community. I don't want to really get into it because there's a lot to talk about and I feel like people got overly mad about it for too long, I guess. I just hope that the tournament will be great and that people will put this racism thing aside because it's not worth staying angry. Another thing that I am looking forward to is Tomorrow, this kind of saddens me because I won't be able to watch it live, but tomorrow there's a live stream in Copenhagen, Denmark of True Sight for TI-8 last year, the one that I attended. I, I don't know how long it has been that Valve has been doing this, maybe two, three years now, where they would hire a film crew and they would record some of the teams. Uh, the year before last, they recorded TI-7 and documented the final two teams and the finals and stuff like that. So this is similar to that, I believe, where they will be documenting OG, who won last year, against LGD, who were the runner-ups. I am really excited to see this. I love looking at things behind the scenes, dynamic between the teams, how they talk to each other, 
what they talk about and their experiences leading up to it. So that is being released tomorrow. The thing is they are live streaming the documentary at 10 a.m., which is why I'm kind of bummed I can't watch it, but I would imagine they're gonna upload it to YouTube afterwards so I can probably watch it after work. I just sometimes wish I had a job that was so flexible for like occasional stuff like this where I could watch it and then I'll just make up my time or just do my time in a different way where it's not a straight eight hours. Maybe I'll do two hours in the morning, watch this for two hours and then do the rest of my six hours, you know? Life doesn't have to be so rigid. That's kind of what I hate about work. I need to go to work now. And I'm actually really glad. I was afraid I was gonna wake up with a worse feeling in my throat. It's still subtle, so I hope it goes away, but I sound deeper than usual. <laughs> Tuesday and I actually decided to stay home from work today because I woke up <clears throat> and my throat just felt terrible worse a little bit worse than it's been the past few days I've been actually sick for a few days but I overthink when I feel like my sickness is to a point where I shouldn't go into work because I just have stupid thoughts about these things. I worry that people think I'm lying or I feel like I am not to a point where I'm uncomfortable enough that I shouldn't go to work. But I also tend to forget that other people, ugh, other people would appreciate it if I don't go in and get them sick. I kind of feel like that's where I got it from because last week there were a lot of coworkers that seemed to pass around sickness. People were out sick, including the coworker that I work closely with. I was at work yesterday and honestly, it was a little bit annoying for me dealing with this throat feeling. So today I just called in sick and True Sight was also on. So <laughs> that might've been a small motivating factor, but honestly, you can tell just from my voice, it just doesn't feel great. And I have a lot of phlegm going on as well. True Sight was so good. I think that exactly. it changes the way OG has to play the game. Jerex. Oh, he's a little bit deep here. He's just gonna lunge strike onto Ame, but FY with the Sunray just lasering him down. Gets the kill at the same time, no tail. Down bottom at the same time. The eggs actually come out from FY as they're beating into it. Can they kill him off the top? They can't. FY gets the supernova successfully off. He's playing around with the three of them here. Jarrett tries for the TP out. Oh, but he ticks down in base. And we get the kill on Jarrett and he gets the kill on Seb. FY. Go to the top. 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 They banned Centaur. They banned the Centaur. Oh, the Axe may be very good, actually. Or oh, actually just cut waves against Ench and then Axe against the Morph. Yeah, like yeah this might, might be the Axe game. Seb Axe. Yes. Shit. Yes, man. Okay. Yes. Fuck, Seb. You're gonna see, man. You're gonna see some shit, man. What's up, man? 
。哎，我想一下啊，虎王，妈逼，当我海绵海绵王的面选了个选了个虎王，什么意思是吧？不太懂，我操。Smoke on smoke action. Here's LGD wrap around. Do you guys go first? I need to be on jumping. It's really bad fight for them if they come. 哎，虎王虎王虎王，他打不死我，打不死我。OG got that ward down in time, and that's going to set up for Sam to find the jump. And fight comes in though with the snowball save, keeps his team alive for now. They're rolling to six seconds to play, but that's it. Fucking serious. I'm dying here. Do you have anything? I don't know if I can help you. I have no buyback. Pretty shit to go. Come on. Ah, fuck the timing. FY with that save, taking them out of the combo. The snowball play. It looked like the perfect initiation, right? But FY is just like, nope. Oh, Arme. PL battle. They've opened up onto him, Arme. Trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB pop by Challenge. He'll get the ult out. No tail getting on out straight away by FY with the snowball. No tail's dead for 100. FY with the snowball save. They get the bash out. Sonus will be able to find the IR. They get jumps and jumps and never do this. What the hell? What? So the Anna can he survive? Anna, can he do it here? Some shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the last game of TI8. One last draft, one last game, and then we will have a new champion, a new team walking up to the Aegis to lift it up here in Vancouver. I want to fight. Yes, yes. Yeah, can we do it? No Echo Slam, no Global. Guys, they're dead. Man up, guys. Man I mean, up. the shaker's up. He yes, no yes, echo. He rush. does nothing. Man up. Let's man go. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Man up. Yes. Guys, win or lose. We don't care. We play. They're going to head into the pit, OG. They're confident. I'm ready with the counter play, Arme. Getting sprouted. Chalice. Puts the mega play. Jumps in. Hey, I think oh my god, I lost it. The tier fours now being taken by OG. Yes, yeah, so all the, the time. damage. Big with the chalice. It's another down. Very low, Kunka. They might die here. We're gonna get a ward behind it. Very low. Very low. Somnus, down to half health. He's trying to retreat with the chains. They get themselves another Somnus taken down. And no, it's the sound is shot away from Sam. Echo, echo. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I use it. Reposition. He, he wants to echo. He wants to echo here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It does really doesn't matter. We have buybacks. Okay, end the game. Get out to the agent. Oh, oh my god. Geez. Your TIA champion. Guys, you did it. I have to say that a lot of the times now when I watch Dota, I actually get extremely emotional because I tend to put myself in their shoes or I tend to think of how I would feel if I was on a team that I'm very fond of, if I like everybody on my team, if I trust everyone on my team skill-wise, and having the privilege of playing with them at these tournaments. So when you see some of the stuff that was happening during the TI8 finals between the Chinese team and the European team, it was so incredible. Or seeing them sad, something that I didn't actually think about when I was in Vancouver was how it felt for the Chinese team to be on stage when they lost. Because right after OG won, fireworks and whatever, lights all started happening, right? But the Chinese team, they were still in the booth. They had to experience how immense their loss was in front of so many people. And that, I, I felt bad for them, but 
everyone loses at some point. And for a tournament like this, you have to realize that when you do lose, it will be in front of a ton of people. So I loved watching this. Now that True Sight is over, I am going to take Riley for a walk. Yesterday was raining. Holy crap, Milo. He's like standing up, trying to get to the camera. The sun is peeking in and out. The clouds are like covering it half the time. But it'll be nice to take her for a walk. I haven't gone outside yet really. I threw out my trash and whatever, but I haven't been outside extended. And I feel like having that fresh air will be really nice for me because I tend to feel like my home is not good in terms of air quality because I never open my windows. I never open my doors, leave them open. And it's cold right now, so I wouldn't do that. But that makes it so the air internally just feels, I don't know how to explain it, just doesn't get recycled. I feel like gradually the air quality just gets worse and worse. And maybe it's not so bad here in the living room, but maybe in my room it's not so great because Riley's pet dander is probably more concentrated. I don't ever open the door into my house for my bedroom because I don't like my cats going in my room. I don't want them getting litter on my bed and that's what would happen if they had the door open and they would jump and lay in my bed and then litter would get all over it, which I think is disgusting. So my door is always closed. So that makes it so my room is just so dead in there, you know? I think that definitely contributes to my difficulty with sleeping, falling asleep, my nose being stuffy and all that. But I will take her for a walk now. I'm sure she is eager to go outside because she wasn't really outside much yesterday and I'm sure she needs to take a shit. So we will do that. Maybe I'll fit in two movies today. That would be nice. Good afternoon. Wow, Milo, what do you want? I just ordered myself some spaghetti because uh, just not in the mood to eat what I've been eating. Probably wasn't something I should have done. But now that the food is here, I wanted to watch a movie. I started watching Deadpool 2 yesterday, but I don't want to spend my precious time on that movie. I think I'm about 30 minutes in and I just don't like it at all. I don't find it funny and it's not original. It's exactly the same as the first movie. Sometimes I still get agitated at myself for trying out these superhero movies because every single time it just sucks. feels like I'm wasting my time. One thing I really quickly wanted to talk about was something that I was looking up yesterday and there are actually a few events nearby that I could attend in the next few months. There is this thing called IPO and it's a dog sport that is a competition and it involves tracking, protection, and obedience. There might be other stuff. I really don't know that much detail about these things. I just know of it. I know how much of a high level these dogs are trained. There are two events nearby that one is occurring next week, next weekend, I think, which might be hard for me to attend actually because the Chongqing major is occurring and it's in China. So I'm gonna have to fuck up my sleep schedule to watch that. And it usually ends on Sunday. So I just get the feeling that if I'm watching the Dota 2 Major, I'm gonna to be too tired to drive out. This tournament is in Temecula, which is an hour and a half north, which I actually don't mind driving that far because I feel like this sport is pretty cool to see. I definitely always admire people who train their dogs to this level. And it's even more impressive to me that they don't use an e-collar. They just know and understand dogs so well. They retain the dog's interest and they start training them since they're puppies. It's crazy how well these dogs are trained. I think my first exposure to this was this woman, Bridget Carlson. She does obedience training, uh, very high level. She's won a lot of championships. And a few years ago, she was training a Belgian Malinois for IPO. That's the first time I heard of it, I think. So that was 
really interesting and a good exposure for me. There is just things that I come in contact with that I would be really interested to see in person. So this is one of them. So the one next weekend is called Mondio Ring, which is maybe a higher level of IPO. They're kind of separate, but they're sort of the same. Uh, there is an IPO championship being held in Ramona, actually, in March. So that one I feel like I would definitely like to go see, but March is kind of far away. That's why the one next week I'm really tempted to go see it because it's so close. We'll see if I manage, I guess. I'm sure I can manage a couple hours there, even with my terrible sleep schedule. Something new to check out, as usual. And my book is actually going to get here today for World War II. So something I was thinking is that as I'm reading, I was thinking of marking certain things that I found interesting, facts. I'll track these things and probably post them up onto my blog as I'm reading. Maybe others that are similar to me where their history knowledge is lacking will find that information interesting. But I've left my food sitting long enough, so I'm gonna watch my movie. Girl was wiggling her butt, getting ready to come up onto the bed before I even told her to. Okay, pups, come on. <laughs> Go into the corner, please. No, down over here. Good. Ah, oh, my poor small bed. Unless she's in the corner, she will get in the way of my feet. I am in my room. I think I'm gonna take a nap because I don't think I've been sleeping that well. I just finished watching A Star Is Born, the latest one with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. I feel foolish for listening to everyone's reception because I did not like the movie. I thought that the story was boring. It's so typical. I've seen a story like this before. I forget the name of the movie, but Gwyneth Paltrow did a similar movie where it's essentially a singer who's famous, falls into addiction, ruins their life. I'm so used to that storyline. I don't really feel bad for people that end up in relationships with an addict either because at least in this movie, she knew he was a drunk before she even got serious with him. So if you know who you're getting into, then I don't really have any sympathy for the struggles you end up facing because of addiction, even though you knew about it up front. So disappointing. I put a two out of five on my blog. One out of five I'll reserve for the ones I really hate, stuff like Twilight or Hunger Games or Marvel movies. Another quick thing before I take a nap. I got my book and honestly I'm really disappointed because it's ripped right here. I received this book like this in a box. That is it. Amazon is so trash. They didn't provide me any protection for my book, so I told them, fucking send me another one. Send me a replacement, and once I get it, I'll return this one. In the meantime, I'll just read it. But I honestly don't. I don't like Amazon at all. I fucking hate relying on Amazon. But I will take a nap now and hopefully play some Smash later. I played some Artifact earlier, but I haven't been in the mood to do drafts or... It, kind of does agitate me more and more how long these games take. By the time one game ends, sometimes I'm just burned out and I don't want to play anymore. So I'm going to look forward to playing Smash later and maybe I would like to try another movie. I'll try again, one that I don't dislike.